So this year, Tennessee had an early 2018 velvet bow hunt. Unfortunately, due to work, I was not able to make it, but I had some hit list bucks on camera. And you wouldn't believe it, but they show right back up on camera right when muzzleloader hits, but disappear during bow season. And I'm as excited as can be. It wasn't but 10 minutes into our hunt and we have this little spike that comes out and boy does he act tough. He sees this doe right in front of me to the left but thinks it's another small buck and he burrs up. Watch how dark he gets. Eventually this young buck realizes it's a doe, calms his nerves a little bit, and ends up trying his luck and ends up locking up with her. But it's really exciting seeing something this early, haven't sat in the stand long. And another thing that made me super excited was I checked the deer camera before and lo and behold that big nine I showed you guys earlier was on camera the day before that afternoon. This picture absolutely has me fired up as I know this big boy's in the area and it's middle of the rut in Tennessee. Not too long after sitting in the stand, I see a really good buck that I think is him and my heart is pounding. I actually have a perfect broadside shot on this buck right now, but after looking at him for 10-15 seconds, I realize it's not the buck we're after, but it's another smaller 8.3.5 year old deer that we have on trail camera. What he's staring at right now is actually the landowner walking her dogs, but you can't be mad at him because they let me come and hunt, but here he is running by me, and it is a good decent buck that'll be a stud next year.
What's up guys? As you can tell, I'm very disappointed. Um, I have the big nine walk out in front of me and I cannot turn the camera around. He is staring at me. I have this clear plastic sitting on top of the tripod to try to keep me dry. And it just does not look normal or look like the wilderness at all. I mean, it looks terrible, but I had to do something to stay dry. And so I cannot for the life of me miss this opportunity on a once in a lifetime buck. Um, so all I do is I pull up the gun and I, <laughs> it stinks because all the hunters out there, all the people watching these videos, they want to see the shot. That's the most important thing. They want to see the shot. They want to see um, where it was at when it was shot. But basically this buck comes in the very edge of the field where that first buck was checking the same exact scrape that first buck was. And all I do is I pull up and I smoke them. And I'll pull up my reaction after this. I mean, I get so excited. I mean, I rip my vest off. I'm ready to rip my jacket off because I'm sweating so much because I'm so excited. I'm shaking. Um, but I'll post my reaction video. Um, but I'm sorry, guys. But I hope you liked the video. Well, I'm sure you guys can't tell in the video. It's super hard to see the deer, but he's way back in the corner. I'm so fired up right now. Like, I mean, you couldn't even describe the emotions going through uh, my mind. This is my biggest deer to date. I've killed, I have three eight points on the wall. I don't have one deer that's bigger than an eight point. I guess I have the eight point curse. Um, but this deer dropped and he is not going anywhere. Um, again, guys, I'm so sorry I didn't get the shot on video, but I'll post some pictures um, of the deer with me holding it. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy the video. This is the first one I've done. And so this is kind of a test run. Um, so I hope you guys like the video. Uh, like it, share it, whatever, subscribe. You know, people say that all the time on the videos I watch. So I guess I'll say it. Um, but thanks again for watching. I hope you guys have a great day.